there was one theme about teaching and the importance of uh, and, and recent research on the training of teachers and then we carried that over into um, a, a study on South Africa and East Africa and then a continuation on more detailed stuff on South Africa in a more anthropological, sociological vein. And Elian then talked about um, indigenous education, and I'll let her talk about that. Indigenous peoples by themselves have made requests to their respective national societies in Latin America, requesting um, both the curriculum, content, and um, commitment of the of the state and of the teachers themselves towards their worldview and their, organi their organization and their claims. Mm. And they have requested this to be incorporated into curriculum, teaching, um, and of course, respecting their culture, their languages, and their worldviews. Elian described in the panel how, in fact, uh, for example, these Amazon uh, tribes are sitting on not only uh, very valuable territory in terms of oil, uh, and there's been tremendous conflicts over the oil extraction there. Uh, many of the uh, indigenous people in the uh, highlands are, are sitting, it's their land that's the source of lots of mining resources, you know, uh, silver, gold, uh, etc. And uh, they have, you know, they want a piece of the action. It's a very big contradiction that the poorest populations in Latin America are indigenous, but those populations actually sit and own, they have titles, uh, to the richest lands that there is, where there is mining uh, and gas and oil extraction and, and timber and all those things, but and we also see that Latin America, and in this case it's Peru, but it's the case for most countries, is a fast-growing uh, economy. Mm -hmm. And everybody relates to that. Mm -hmm. However, if you talk to indigenous peoples, they will say, well, where is it? What has changed in our lives for five, six centuries? Nothing. Yeah. And we've constantly provided everybody with our resources. Yeah.